In this video, I'm going to show you two quick secrets that you need to know if you want to improve your Science Olympiad boom lever. Hey, what's up guys? If you haven't met me before, my name is Faison and I've competed in Science Olympiad throughout middle school and high school. And I'm here to teach you everything I've learned throughout the years to help you kill it at your next competition. But before we get into the video, please be sure to leave a like if you enjoy it. Drop any questions or feedback that you have in the comments below. And I'd really appreciate it if you would subscribe to the channel. I post new videos just like this every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday that will help you take your Science Olympiad game to the next level. The first secret that you need to know when designing your Science Olympiad boom lever is to put as much time into designing the hook attachment as you would to the main portion of the boom lever. And this is because your boom lever is only as strong as its weakest link. So although you may have the best boom lever base in the world, it means zero if your hook attachment is not at the same caliber. And there's two different things that you can do if you want to quickly improve your hook attachment. The first is to use higher density wood and make the piece thinner. So when you do, when you use a higher density wood, it becomes harder to actually crush the piece that pushes up against the hook of, uh, of the testing apparatus and making the hook attachment thinner will do the same as well. So if you want to increase the strength of the hook attachment, simply make the hook attachment thinner and make it so that it's built with a higher density wood like bass wood. But the other thing that you can do to improve your hook attachment is to make sure the grain is in the opposite direction of the hook. So for example, if the hook is sticking out of the testing apparatus like so, then you want the grain of the hook attachment to be perpendicular to that. And that's going to make it harder to actually split the hook attachment and you should be able to get better results. And the second secret that you need to know when designing your Science Olympiad boom lever is that you should consider using a tube design. Now, because we don't know the rules for the 2020 to 2021 season, we don't know if this is legal or not. Because if you look at the 2019 to 2020 season, you had to span an eight centimeter gap, I believe, to fit within the rule requirements. And having a tube is not really going to solve that aspect. But if you look back at the 2018 to 2019 season, using a tube was totally legal. And that may have been, that was, may have been one of the best designs you could have used for that year. Now, the reason that tubes are so good is because when you design a tube out of a balsa sheet, you have a bunch of grains in a circular formation. And what that does is when you compress that cylindrical tube, all the grains are pushing outwards at every point of, of the circle. So it becomes a lot harder to actually compress a tube than it would a rectangular prism because when you compress a rectangular prism, all the grains go bend outward in one direction. So you have an increased amount of buckling strength with, uh, with a tube design. Now, if you want to build your own tube, I'll leave a link in the description below that will take you to my website where I created an article about this exact topic where I cover information about the how, about how to build a better hook attachment as well as how to make your own tube with an in-depth guide. So if you're interested, please check it out. Link again is in the description. If you've made it this far into the video, I'd like to thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed the video, please be sure to leave a like, drop any questions or feedback that you have in the comments below and I'll get to them as fast as possible. And please consider subscribing to the channel because I post new videos just like this every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. And that's all for today. I'll catch you guys next time. Stay unfazed. Mm -hmm.